Joining us now is Tom Aioli, entrepreneur and China expert. And Tom, first, $375 billion in a trade deficit. Explain to a lot of people who are not following this, what does that mean, essentially? Oh, well, listen, it's clear. China, you know, it, it, it's interesting because I was thinking about coming here today and I was, you know, it's Chinese fortune cookie says, like sushi, the United States gets a raw deal. China's eating our lunch. We're, the trade deficit is in balance. We, for, for, the, for the last 10 years, we've sent all of our services and, and, and manufacturing over to China. They're stealing our intellectual property, our IT, and the trade imbalance is so off, it's incredible. We're stealing jobs from the United States of America. The president has it right. So basically, we're buying a lot of their products and they're not buying nearly as much American stuff. Is it possible to reduce that by $200 billion as the Trump administration is demanding in these trade talks? Well, listen, it's not just it's not just goods, it's services also, it's intellectual property, it's IT, it's it's you know programming, it's all going over to China. You know, we're sending our manufacturing over there. Is he gonna achieve his goal? No, but he's drawing a line in the sand. I mean, he uh, clearly knows what he's talking about. He's drawing a line in the sand, he's getting them to the table, they're willing to talk now. I think he's doing the right thing for our country. Because it would seem any sort of deal would be better than the current one if they're able to change that 375 billion, and maybe they can only reduce it, say, by 25 or 30. That's that's still money that comes back into the U.S. economy. It comes back into the U.S. economy. It creates jobs. It brings the manufacturing back. There's jobs. You know, listen, clearly it helps our U.S. Co our US companies because it drives our, our, our costs down because we can get it manufactured in China much cheaper. We can get the labor over there. We can send our, our IT over there. But they're stealing it. You know, as we speak, as we're sitting here right now, they're stealing our intellectual property. We have, There's patent laws in place. We have trade, trade uh, laws in place with China. They won't enforce force them. They're, they're, they're taking things like iPhones and technology and they're reproducing it over there and they're reverse engineering it and they're taking away revenues from our companies which are taking jobs and, and the reality of it is is they won't stop it and the government won't enforce it. It doesn't really matter. I mean, at the end of the day, I think he's going to clearly win. He's going to get some of these some, uh, some, some of this back but at the end of the day, it really is going to come down to enforcement. The Chinese government has to agree to enforce this on every level and if they don't, he's got to go harder at them. As far as negotiations with the Chinese, is it working culturally to threaten or to say, look, I'm pessimistic that we're going to strike a deal. We may just have to have a trade war. Does that resonate with them? Well, listen, you know, it, it doesn't resonate with them now, but it's starting to. They're starting to get it. You know, when, when someone means business, you know, it changes the whole the uh, thought process and philosophy. You know, it, it, reality is, is they're going to lose this business because he's going to bring it back to the U.S. It's one or the other. You either pay the trade tariff, right, and you start buying our goods and services, or we're bringing it back to the U.S., which is where it belongs to begin with. Real quickly, how long should the Trump administration give these talks before they pull the trigger on these tariffs? Oh, I don't think it's more than 60 or 90 days. I think they have to start moving on it. I think the reality of it is they waited too long. I think that he's being lenient. I think he's putting his foot down. He's doing the right job. Look at what he did with North Korea. He got them to the table. He's going to get China to the table. Tom Maioli, entrepreneur and China expert. Tom, thanks for coming in. Good Thank, to you. Have you, here. Thank you. Thank you.